Hey guys, welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Today we're starting off next to Merchant, as we do have a quest with him. We have to sell seven crates, and it looks like we haven't done that, which is kind of annoying because we have all the crates here. We have six here, and we've definitely sold two before. Um, how do we actually sell them though? Is there a, like, can we do it like manually, or is it only automatic? And if it is automatic, when do we like, when do they sell? So I have no, no idea what day they would actually sell. Um, maybe he told me during the tutorial, but maybe I'll have to actually wait until next week to finish off his mis mission, which is kind of annoying, but I guess, you know, if we don't have much of a choice, then, you know, what can we do? Yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait, because they're not selling. And he's going to leave soon, so not much we can do about that. Uh, last episode, we managed to get a cathedral, which I'm pretty sure is a great for the church. So that should be nice. We should be able to put some stained glass windows. Maybe there's more room for more professionals and tables and stuff. Maybe more room for chairs. I actually have no idea. But the purple day is quite far away, so we should have enough time to build like the stained glass windows and stuff. Overall, I think it looks pretty much the same size. All I know is that you can definitely put, I think you can put um, the stained glass windows down. Okay, look, there's, okay, there's one room here, and that looks big enough for a, what does it look big enough? It looks big enough for, where is it? No, 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 the wooden church shrine, I think. I don't think it's big enough for a confessional, so we can put a wooden church shrine there, an extra five points, which is, which would be nice. And I think that's it, and the stained glass windows, obviously. Okay, so we're going to need some jewellery. Complex iron parts, glass, um, wood, simple iron parts. Alright, let's try and build those. So I think I have everything. I'm not actually sure. Let's quickly check. So there's a church shrine. And whilst we're here, we can actually look around to see if it fit anywhere else. I think we could fit two candles here. Oh, or maybe you can't rotate them. I don't actually remember. But this can definitely go here. There might be something better to put here later on, but you know, it's plus five for now, which is great. And then stained glass windows. Huh. Oh, wait, no, okay. So it looks like they can only go here, maybe? Because it doesn't look like they fit anywhere else. Which is kind of weird. Like, what's the point of only having one? But how many points is that? Stained glass is also five. That's not terrible. So that's an extra ten points just from these two. But that kind of looks like if this is the maximum upgraded church, then this is like the most we can get, which isn't great. But, you know, if, I guess if this is the maximum, then this is the maximum, you know. Unless there are more stuff. Because we haven't got the incense burners. Maybe we should get those. Because they might just be crazy and I just haven't been using them, but... Oh yeah, confessional level 2 as well. Probably be helpful. Incense burners level 2. Stone prayer station. Marble flagstones. Well, yeah, all of these could actually be really good. I just haven't been getting them. Yeah, I guess we should just wait then. And then we could also upgrade all of them to level 3. Yeah, I guess there's still quite a few more things to do. I'm happy with this for now. The other thing we want to do is that we brought some bees last episode. So we need to... What do we need to do? We need to turn them into beehives. Which I don't actually remember what needs. So we'll have to run over there and have a look. But we need honeycomb because honeycombs are really good for uh, candles. And then candles also give... You know, church quality. So I've got everything for them, so we need to put them down anywhere. Why is this one so small? And this one's like quite big, I don't know. I'm going to put them there. I don't think you can build anything of it over here other than these beehives. And even though this is small, I don't think you can still fit um, only one in each square, so that's fine. Bought some gold hops from the miller, as we need some more gold beer for Heradic. And then we just have to wait for the farmer to come out, because we have a quest with Miss Charm, which is here. Convince Farmer to let his daughter go to the concert. So I guess we just wait until they come out. So, yes, yeah, so this is the farmer's son. So now we seem to wait for the farmer to come out. I think this is the farmer that comes out here. They should come out a reasonably time. It's also Snake's Day, which we did recently get to 20 ritual points in his little cave area. So we can quickly continue his quest on. I'm not sure what he'll give us, but hopefully something interesting as he is quite, you know, a mischievous character, so he might have something good for us. About Alyssa. Okay, so 
I'm here to ask your permission to let your daughter go to the town with Miss Charm. It's a great opportunity for her. I need her here. We have a lot of work to do on the farm. Besides, I don't trust this actress. She already spent too much time helping out at the tavern. I don't like it. Okay. Hey. Mm, you want to help Alyssa? Yes. Mm, mm, I like when she plays. I want to help too. If you help my uncle to fix the mill, then father will be so happy. I'll ask about Alyssa and I bet he'll let her go. Thank you. I'll talk to your uncle. Oh, I meant to know who your uncle is. Are you the uncle? Or, or I guess he's the miller, right? So, um, yeah, I guess we'll go speak to the miller. Because if they want us to repair a mill, I'd assume it's the person who's called the miller. And maybe they are related. I guess they could be brothers and they own this entire thing, which would be pretty cool. Is it this guy? I am going to assume so. I'd like to help fix the mill. Do you know what the mill needs for repairs? You're welcome to give it a shot. I tried to fix it myself, but only made things worse. I have this manual for the thing, but it's in Latin. Oh my, I'm back home. We blame Ikea. It says we need stone and steel parts. Okay, let's see the instructions. Where's the last page? Um, there weren't any pictures on it. I thought it was important. And the paper was so soft. I see. Geometry isn't really my strong suit. I think I'll need astrologers' help to figure this out. Ah. I guess there's quite a lot to do then. I was hoping to get it all done before Miss Charm visits. But I guess if we can speak to the astrologer, he tells us what we need. And then we just do it, then that shouldn't be too hard. The only thing they mentioned is steel parts. So unless they're like iron parts, then we have a problem. Um, if not, then we won't have a problem. Because we do have steel, we just don't know how to turn it into parts. Okay, so we just need to go get some water, and then we can start making the beer. And then we'll go speak to Snake. We are mega tired, but I don't want to sleep in case Snake leaves. So we'll just sacrifice the one energy we lose. So it's not really that big of it anyway, we have so much food. And is Snake here? Yeah, he is. This is what our place is looking like, which is pretty cool. It says quite a lot about the ritual. This place is scary. So what do you think of the place? I'm impressed, especially this pumpkin head. What a sick mind you have. But the place check. Now I just need some devoted followers. Oh, and I also need a damask sword. How's that going to help you? You'll see, just forge one or buy one at the mountain fort. I haven't seen a mountain fort before. So now we have this stuff I'm looking for. Do you know where I can find the things I'm looking for? It was very easy. I actually didn't search for them. Just spent an evening in the pub at the town. Everything was in the rumours. The mirror of pride, everyone knows that the bishop carries everyone. Well, that's interesting. People say the mirror helps him talk to his boss. An eternal burning coal. The Inquisitor's guard told me that his master's most precious artifact. He carries it around with him in his pocket. It's burning him all the time. That's why he's always so angry. A salty fork, your friend the merchant. He was one of those. It's weird. We normally just use spoons or or that in town or our hands. Apparently, I'm going eat a lot. Like snake. I hate politeness. Okay, so that panel wasn't actually reading what they said. So necklace, ritual. Okay, so what did you say about the sword? You have to either get it from a fortress. I've never actually been to a fortress. Okay, so I don't really know what to how to make more progress with Snake then. Because those items that he asked obviously aren't to do with his quest, it's to do with I think the astrologer's quest. How do I get out of this place? And then the mass sword Oh, I think he said craft it or do the other way. I don't think we can craft it. Um, where would it be? We need smithing, right? Is this it? Oh, we can craft it. Okay, we'll just try We'll try crafting it, see how expensive it is then. Because we'll probably want an upgrade on our sword anyway. So, and the only thing we're missing is red points, which are actually pretty easy to come by. We'll just like, go craft a bunch of wood or something. So today's day is the Inquisitor's Day, which actually doesn't have anything... We don't have any quests with him, which is... Um, a bit worrisome, but I'm sure it's fine. So if we're just going to farm up some red points, how many do we need again? We need about 100. I'm just going to do it on wood and quartz, or wood and marble actually, because they're pretty easy. And we need quite, we need more of it, but obviously that's what we need for the gravestones and stuff. So if I'm going to spend my time in farming red points, I might as well do it on this. And if I still need more after you know, turn all of this into um, just normal chunks, then I think I'll then harvest wood. But we just need wood, so I need more of. It's the day of the astrologer now. We didn't manage to get 300 uh, red points close, but we ended up doing a couple of other things. So, tell me about Miss Charm. Well, I told her I might know who her father is, but I should take it. Let's say she wasn't excited. She told me that you never tried to find her. Indeed. You left her mother. It's all true. Still, maybe I can somehow earn her forgiveness. If I find out anything, you'll be the first person to know. New task. Well, thank you, young man. You're so kind. So now I need to find a way to earn Miss Charm's forgiveness. So I guess I'll go speak to Miss Charm again. 
I need to do some calculations for the meal. A little bit of calculating angle stuff. Um, oh, that sounds like a lot of work. I'm not so sure. Hey, we're friends. It's a paper with calculations. I don't know what that means. About the three parts of the barrel. You promised to tell me about the items I'm looking for. I think I saw a necklace with a blood sapphire. Esmeralda has one. She found it lying on the ground the morning after Great Blast. I think she gave it to her daughter. Maybe, maybe lots of rocks and other strange things were scattered around Witch Hill for that blast. There were a lot of fires and a lot of destruction. I never saw my friend at the graveyard keeper after that night. But like Esmeralda, I found something strange. A measuring instrument near an archaeological dig site. I think it may be your golden angle. Where is it now? I left it in a camp at the mountain fort with my other belongings. We left the camp in quite a hurry. I think it should still be there. I doubt anyone would be brave enough to break the seal of Royal University. So I don't know where this mountain fort is that everyone keeps talking about. Hmm... Is it worth buying these? They're quite cheap. No, I'm afraid not. We'll keep the money. Okay, so... Um... So... The astrolog astrologer said the necklace is with Esmeralda's daughter, which is Miss Charm. And then Miss Charm said it's with Snake. And then Snake said he didn't have it or something. So we don't actually know where it is at all. I don't actually remember why we need all these items. I think it's just to activate the portal and craft a spirit laser, I guess. So this is Miss Charm. Uh, a sword. Cell crates. This we need to buy. Signed invitation from the Lord Inquisitor. I guess we should go speak to the Inquisitor then. Go get that. I'm not worried that we missed it because these are like so far away. This is very expensive. Convince the farmer to let his daughter go to the concert. Okay, so I guess we should do that so we can... Okay. But should we take this over to the mill then? And then may maybe the mill will have us... Have um, information for us. Then we should also... Check out the merchant shop. Or I guess my shop. I guess I... Go run it with the merchant to see if everything's sold. If it has sold. I don't know when they sell, but they've sold now. 85 silver for 5 crates. Okay, so the box of goods sold more than the pumpkins that we sold, which is um, strange. Oh no, mate. Oh, no. Why did this one not sell? Oh, I actually picked this one up by accident earlier. I'm going to put it down, so I guess it just reset the cooldown or something. I guess maybe they have a cool set cooldown. That'd make some kind of sense. Right, okay, we're looking good. Let's go see the miller and see if we can fix his mill with these new, new instructions because Miss Charm is coming in two days. So hopefully once this is fixed, um, the first will be completed. And uh, nothing with the bishop apart from our sermon. So I guess tomorrow we can work on fixing it. So, no, do we? Oh, there we go. Oh, very, very, very easy. But right, let's do that right now then. Okay, so sermon day, and I'm going to craft some candles. This is all the beeswax we have. I need to figure out which one is actually more worth it. This one requires a lot of paint, but paint isn't too hard to come by. Which one? So, this would give three points each. Let's double the resources. So this one would give um, um, 12 points. This one would give 8 points. So if I was to craft two lots of these, in total it would give us 16 points. And considering that beeswax is anything that we're like short of, it would make 10 times more sense to craft these to get 16 rather than one lot of these to get 12, right? So yeah, I guess I should craft these. I just need to make a bit more paint and then four things. So am I good? It looks like I'm good again. So I'm hoping I'm right here. I hope they haven't made a mistake, but that is everything crafted. We also are going to quickly need our sherm one, this one, and then let's put the stories in here as well. We don't need the stories. So now we can just finish these here. Yeah. So that is, yeah, so it's two points each. I think I'm right. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So yeah, so mathematically, I guess I'm right. And then, let's see, how do we get more... And works. I guess it's just more bees, right? If these are like pretty OP, like four points, that's like almost a whole chair. Oh yeah, and then if we could actually get like crazy amounts of wax, then we can just make the third tier um, candle stuff every single time, which would be really nice. Uh, I guess we can buy bees from the beekeeper. 
because he sells bees. I think we brought like 20 from him last time, so I guess we could check his shop out again and see if he's restocked up. Because as long as uh, we can max out that bee hive area we have, then you know, I assume that's the only way we're going to get beeswax. So at least we know that we're maximizing efficiency. That's a lot of people. I don't think I've ever seen that many people before. I guess it's because... Well, is this our first sermon with an upgraded cathedral? I think it might be. Let's, let's check. I'm hoping... Okay, I don't, I don't want to say. I'm not hoping anything. Let's just have a look. Okay, so we're at... 20 silver? That's not bad. I'll definitely take that. And then Faith, we got 20... Which is not bad either. Yeah. Yeah, it, that's a lot of Faith. That's actually like crazy amounts of Faith. I don't know why the church is... The money-wise is so low. Because I thought money-wise we're doing pretty well. Or like... The church garden is doing pretty well. Like we have a lot of points. Maybe next um, sermon I'll do the money one. Can I get rid of the money one? No, I don't think you can get rid of them. It must be just in a chest somewhere. So let's just put all of this stuff that we definitely don't want in there. And then let's go do a couple of things. The first thing is the dead horse. This guy, Horaderick, is that his name? Horaderick? Yeah, he wants a beer. I don't know what we're going to get. I don't know if it's even like an actual crest or not. You'll find Brewer indeed. You know what? Go upstairs and take the scroll from my table. It's my secret project. Honey beer. I think he just might be able to do it. It's actually pretty cool if he... Wait, honey beer? That sounds very cool. Is anything worth buying from him? How much would that be? No, uh, that's quite expensive. Actually, no, it's not. I guess I might just buy those, but I also bought carrot seeds. It's always easier just to, you know, grow your own carrots. Where is his scroll? Open. Special beer recipe. Use. Oh, mead. Oh, yeah. But so mead isn't a thing yet. That's actually crazy. And then uh, next up... Uh, I guess we need to go do the farmer, hopefully before they go to bed, because Miss Charm is visiting tomorrow. So if this mill gets fixed and then and the farmer approves, then we can do Miss Charm's quest straight away, which would be nice. And then we also need to craft more crates as well, because that seems to be like the main source of big money. I don't want to talk to you, I want to craft. Ah, oh, I'm parts before, before everyone goes to bed. It's actually midnight now, so I'm going to be surprised if they're still up. And they are not. That's fine. Can we repair it whilst he's in there? Oh, I guess he's in this one, ain't he? He's not going to be in this one. Yes. Do this. I think we might still have time, because obviously his charm will be here all day, so maybe we can do the quest in the morning. Okay, it's less fixed. We'll come back tomorrow and see if they are good or not. What does beer give? Hmm. I don't know if I should keep the beer, or if I should sell the beer, or... I don't think... I don't even know who I'd sell it to. That's fine, let's just push in a chest. And then... What? So it's Miss Charm's day. Do you have anything else to do with Miss Charm? I think we do. Oh, I guess we need to speak to her about her dad again. And then... Yeah, I think other than that, we're good. We should have enough points to get the sword now. We do. I assume it's going to be really expensive. I'm not going to lie. So swords, where are swords? Swords are... On this one? Who sells... who... could I craft swords? Well, maybe just a workbench. Let's try the workbench. Where do I... He does armor. Oh no, I think I was right. I think it is the anvil. Wait, no. It better not be a level 3 anvil. Uh oh. Oh, this guy's... Oh, this guy's not even level 2. Let's, craft, let's build him up to level 2. Wait a minute, notice that. Are we missing things that we should be crafting? Okay, it looks pretty much the same. Um, These give the same rewards. Upgraded stuff. Let's, I think we should definitely craft like a bunch of these. And then still no new sword. Let's double check. It's going to be anvil of a free ain't it? Jewelry table. Okay, we have one of those. That's nice. Okay, now let's have a look. We are going to need a diamond, a steel sword, and jewelry. Honestly, not too bad. Jewelry, we need gold. Okay. So it's a, it's a task, but how hard of a task is it? Where is diamond? I don't think we've unlocked the ability to have a diamond yet, so... Okay. Also quite cheap, we can do that. And I don't know how we gather it, I think we just gather it from mining, which... If that's the case, it's not the worst thing. You find them more often, also you know how to make really nice jewellery. I think we should also get that then as well. 
because that hopefully we only need one diamond i'm going to assume it's going to be quite rare and we have a lot of faith so what we can actually do is just research on stuff what day is it miss charms day okay let's do a bit of research and then we can go speak to the farmer research is all done we didn't actually have um, anything to research that'll give us blue points so i think anything that count are the body parts so unless we could research like ash because it's technically a body part as well i think we've researched all of like the brains and intestines and stuff so we can't do that do we, should we talk to him first oh you fixed it you can mill your wheat here for free if you want but this helps me get Alyssa's paper okay. so now we can mill for free which is pretty cool how have we been able to mill recently what does mill turn into wheat into flour i guess how do we normally do flour? Like, have we done flour before? Or do we just always buy flour? I don't think we ever needed flour to us. So we can talk to her though. Hey, the meal is fixed. That's good for business. And Alyssa really does want to go. I love my daughter. I want what's best for her so she can go. He's a nice man. Wonderful. So, okay. Let's go to Dead Horse and see if this is what Miss Charm wants, which would be great. Which is how can I help you? I have some questions. Okay, I don't have questions. We've got Alyssa's papers. Here's the paperwork. She can go with you to the concert. Wonderful. We just need to correct her age a little bit. Plus two years. That'll make everything a little easier. Hmm. The correction looks sloppy. It's pretty obvious that someone corrected the number. Now I need an aristocrat to countersign the paper, but I don't want to ask just anyone. The wrong rumour could be the death of my reputation. Maybe you can get some aristocrat papers. Then I don't need your signature. Well, that looks pretty illegal. You don't want to talk. I bet you could get up all sorts of illegal stuff for your graveyard. Besides, it's not like I'll forget to thank you, my sweet. I don't like it, but I guess the end just by the means. So the rest of the papers the really expensive ones. I think they are. Okay, we can have a look at that quickly, but who's the other person I wanted papers? There's someone else. Oh, the bishop. So both Miss Charm and the bishop want aristocrat papers. Which is obviously gives good reason to you know get the get keep them. Um Yes, a bit of a bummer though. A lot of people want them. Let's go check how much they are. I'm pretty confident they're like, they're gold. So it's like 16 gold, which is like very expensive. I assume that's not that much, but you know, we don't really have much way to get that much gold. The only thing I can think of is from the crates. So your citizen is all by. Right, citizens all by, aristocrat, aristocrat. Oh, I see. Yeah, so 12 gold and you get this for free. Like all the other right items, I assume. Maybe you do have to pay for it, but I don't think you do. So 12 gold, that bad. Not the worst thing. And that'll get us to 100, so that'll be everything from this guy. Which means we are close to the end, I assume. But actually, no. We can now get diamond, which is great. And then the only thing we're missing is a bit of blue for this. Or oh, in this, you're a true miner. You can find precious metals and ores more often, but it's still a matter of luck and energy. I probably should have got this as well. That would have been great. And then this thing would have almost been done. Because we do need gold, because we need jewellery. So we need jewellery and diamonds, and jewellery gold. I should tell you how. From mining. Yeah, I just think it's just straight up from mining, which isn't that bad. Because we do need iron to make nails, to make crates. So I guess we'll just do that. The merchant... So we're done with Miss Charm for now. And the merchant, we do have some crates in Dover. Let's check how many... More... How much iron we have. Okay, we have lots, so I think we get some more crates going. But I think to maximise efficiency, well, all of our crates are sold, so we can actually stock it back up. But to maximise, we should get more uh, crate slots, which need flyers. I think we have enough for about three more, which would be three more crates would be 30 flyers. So we'd have to craft it six times. Which means we need free pen and ink, I think. And we should have some in here. Huh? Yeah, we look how much we have. We have so much. Uh, we could craft so many. But yeah, if we can craft them all before the merchant visits, then I think they get sold when the merchant visits. But, or when he leaves. Which is, uh, you know, a bit annoying because obviously I want to talk to him as we've done progress. But we've sold seven crates now, so we should actually be able to progress in his story as well. Crafted so many nails, we're out of iron. We, I saved a little bit of iron just to make sure. Okay, so how many would this give us? This would give us four. It's great. I guess we do need a better supply, don't we? Because um, they're pretty hard to come by. 
the knob, but marble? We could do marble. Marble isn't that hard. I don't think. Ceramic bowls aren't necessarily hard either, but 200, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of bowls. I guess, like, doing, like, onions probably could be the best thing. No, because we'd have to buy seeds, and it's just a bit long. I think nails is the best way to go. Because that didn't take that much work. It took about, like, 20 carrots, and then just iron bars. And then we need to farm iron anyway, because we need... What do we need? We need something. Is that all of them? I guess that is right. Yeah. So the merchant, he should be there now. I guess we can go and say hi. Let's do the carrots and we're going to say hi. Maybe now that we can progress with the merchant, maybe the boxes will sell for more or there'll be a new way to make money. So let's talk business. The sales have been made. Great. Now we have a decent share of the market. This is the perfect foothold for our plan, but we still need to support of the Royal Council. I think I know a way we can gain the Royal Council's full support. When you're ready, my friend, I'll share the plan with you. So how was dinner? Dinner was magnificent, we gained some support in the Royal Council. I think I know a way to gain the Royal Council's full support. Okay, he's repeating himself. Um, about the final plans. Does anything else stand between you and the job? I think we've done everything he wanted. Almost. The head of the Royal Council isn't a member of the Gourmet's Club, but he has a weakness. or weakness? Miss Charms Charms, if you know what I mean. Oh, I see. So Miss Charms is the only, one, only person who can talk him into supporting me. And you're the kind of guy who could possibly get along with her. And there it is. A simple yet elegant plan. So we've got to go speak to Miss Charm again. Any specific instructions? Not really. I've always chosen a good dinner over the company of a woman. Please tell me when you've gotten her on our side. She might already be on our side. We just have to go speak to her. I'm looking for a salty fork. I heard rumoured that you have a salty fork. I reached that point in my life. A salty fork is something I desperately need. Oh well, this salty fork means a lot to me. It was one of the two things that I found with my brother. We were looking for food, a town dump, and I found this fork. I think it came from the Great Blast. I'm from a very poor family, and this fork made me who I am. I look at it hours imagining what it is for. I decided to travel and find some writers, so I left the town. I discovered that forks are from eating. Also, I learned a lot of other wonderful things. You know, sometimes I think this fork actually makes me tastier. Ha <laughs> ha. Now I'm on the brink of a new phase of my life. I could give it to you, but first I want to be sure that you won't be able to get it. Oh man. So it looks like to go through the portal and go home, we pretty much have to be 100 of every villager, which you know is fine, it's whatever. Oh, merchant sells. Oh, merchant sells both. Do we just buy them? Wait, is that 50 silver each? Eh? Why is that more expensive than a diamond? I was. Uh, I don't think we should. Should we? We need those Arisio cuts papers more than anything else. And it'll probably get to the point that, like, if we buy the diamonds, the last press we'll have is to get Arisio cut and papers. So that is. Not fun at all. Um, so is this now maxed out? I think it is, right? Oh, no, no. Oh, one more, one more. Okay, so we can put lump one last there. But now the pallets will mixed up, which is good. So the zombie has, I think, already moved everything over. We've got five box of goods. 30, 60, I believe 75 silver. So yeah, considering how easy it was to make those nails, and it's going to give us 70 silver. I definitely think nails is the way to go and crates in general when it comes to making money. So Snake is indeed visiting tomorrow, which has gone pretty quick. And he obviously wants the Damas sword. If we come across it, then great. If not, then he'll have to until next week. I want to empty out this iron board. We probably should craft another iron board. But I'm going to harvest some iron myself and maybe come across a diamond. But we need gold anyway. I hope we get silver nuggets from doing that. I think... Uh, you know, mining it ourselves would. So where is the iron? The iron's over here, isn't it? Or maybe it's marble. Like the only things we can mine are iron, stone, marble, and coal. If anything is going to give us a diamond, I think it'd be iron straight up. Or maybe, yeah, I think getting these iron chunks here won't give it, but turning it into nuggets would give it. So we just have to keep going until you know, we mine a diamond. But we've had no luck with diamonds. Or gold, so I feel like this, uh, you know, process is going to take longer. And the first place we found gold was actually in the dungeon. There's like a whole like gold deposit, and it pretty much gave us only gold. So you know, I think that is probably going to be the best way to do it. And you know, going in the dungeon is actually exciting. So why not? And if we're going to go, we might as well upgrade our tools. I'm not going to worry about that crazy sword, but we can get steel armor because i don't think we have that we do not 
And then the other thing is a sword. Which, what is the best sword? The best sword would be, I assume this one. Steel sword with a gem. Which isn't, is that going, how much is that? Um, I think that's worth, because jewellery... Oh, maybe it's not worth. So that does 20 damage, whilst this one does 15. This one only does 25. I think we do it. You know, if we if we end up having problems with jewellery, then, you know, it's going to be my fault. But I think we do it anyway. The best sword means we're going to progress quicker. It means we lose health potions. Yeah, so let's craft. We need a steel sword. How expensive is a steel sword? I assume it's going to be pretty cheap. Yeah, that's... I wouldn't say it's cheap, but you know it's doable, so why not? And then we'll craft that into this guy. Yeah, so we're just missing a diamond and some gold, which I'm hoping we do come across. I wonder how big of an upgrade this is actually gonna be. Do I have a still sort of equipped actually? No, I don't, okay. So this one we can unequip and put that one on. We can't destroy them. I wish we could. But you guess you can decompose it, I guess. Um is that stat done? And then the chest plate just wanted some complex iron parts, which is nice and easy. All the iron we did get, we smelted, so that's fine. And then that we turn into a chest plate at the workbench, which is great. And then this will take us less damage, which means better as well. I think we're at like level like 10 in the mines, which is actually, you know, pretty deep down. So I don't think we'll be... Why oh, can't... Oh. Oh yeah, we don't use it, we just click on it. Okay, so these two can just go in a chest. And then... I'm not worried about Snake's Quest today then, I think I'll just stay in the mines. Because even if I do get the thing that I need, like the diamond and the gold, having to like leave the mines, craft it and all that, he'll probably have gone by the time I've done all that anyway. So we'll just leave him, let him do his stuff, and then we'll hand in the quest next week. We don't have too much stuff to do with Snake anymore, like we're all done with him when it comes to like Miss Charm. So we don't need to progress him to progress other people. Maybe we do, we just don't know that yet. But for now, we're fine. So it looks like Miss Charm. Okay, let's actually quickly have a look. What do we need to do? So this is Miss Charm. This is Miss Charm. Miss Charm wants the papers. He wants the papers. He wants the sword. And is that it? Is that everyone? So all of these people have friendship as well. But I don't know if they actually do or not. If it's just a lie. Because they don't have quests. Now this guy, like... I guess these guys, their friendship is actually leveling up, so maybe they do. Like Miss Chain's friendship is leveling up. Gunter might be interesting to talk to. Maybe these people we should talk to, but from what we've seen in the game, when someone wants to be talked to, they have like a little text bubble. So unless someone has a text bubble, I guess we just don't want to speak to them. Um, and then what else? So um, we should have wine somewhere. Fay Health, I think that's worth taking with us. And yeah, I think that looks good. I didn't realize how uh, long the episode has been, so I think we actually have to call it here. And then tomorrow episode will be heavily focused on the dungeon. We're at currently level 10, so maybe we can get to level 20 or something, which will be really interesting. And thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe as this series is uploaded daily, so that next episode will come tomorrow. Thank you and goodbye.